Hello students, welcome to the Rodrigo Engineering Excel Show. I know, your favorite YouTube channel of all time <clears throat> with your favorite teacher. Um, anyway, I'm here to teach you how to use Excel. Well, I've taught you a little bit how to use Excel. And a little pep talk on Excel. This is something you are going to use in life. And students are always asking me, what am I going to use this in life? You'll use this. I use it as a teacher. Everybody uses because data processing, everybody's going to use. Anyway, I probably already talked about that in person. So let's get to it. Uh, you've measured your cube size the way it's supposed to be measured. And you also numbered your cubes. And so this is, you know, cube 15 is that size right there, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You have 27 cubes. All right. Let me show you a quick way to, let's say, number this. Again, Excel is fairly powerful. And uh, so I'm going to, let's see what I want to do here. Uh, delete these. Uh, I want to delete these numbers. So let's say you want to number this real quick. Well, Excel's uh, smart. Okay, so what you can do again, and I think I've taught you this, is just say one, two, three. Excel senses a pattern. Highlight over this little green thing. See how it changes to a plus and drag down. And it's going to start numbering everything for you. Okay. Uh, so uh, little tips and tricks right here. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to do a sort of statistical analysis of uh, our cubes. And we're, we're going to want to find out a few things. So let's start off by finding uh, the mean. Okay, we're just going to make the labels here. Mode, um, median. Uh, we're going to talk about the standard deviation, sample size. Um, minimum number, maximum number, uh, range, and let's do the mean um, plus two standard deviations and mean minus two standard deviations. All right, so we're going to uh, figure out all those things, and I'm going to show you how to do that with Excel. In your math class, what you're going to do is you're going to calculate these by hand. Um, and I, I'm going to leave that to the math teacher, and it's a very important notice. Statistics is the most important math class you will take. Not everybody will, um, not everybody will use calculus, but just about everybody uses statistics in one way or another. I'm going to make a little table here just, just for fun. Uh, borders, just to make it look clean. Um, all right, so mean. What does mean mean? Well, essentially mean is essentially the average number of these. Uh, what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to extend these to look at the, uh, let's see, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. So let's have every number. So for example, this one was exactly 0.75. Um, it should be, significant figures should be 0 0.7500. So I'm going to go right here. Let's see, decrease decimal show more decimal places for a more precise value. So for example, 23 was precisely uh, 7.7500, okay? Uh, we don't wanna show 0 0.75. 0 0.75 uh, could be 0.749, round it up, no. So this one was measured as exactly 0 0.7500. That's why we add the two zeros on there because if we show 0.75, that could have been that number and we round it up, but it was not, all right? So just want to show that, all right? That's a significant figures, and we did measure these to the 10,000s on your caliper. All right, so mean is just the average. Now, again, we're going to use Excel to make formulas here, and Excel is fairly powerful in that, in that sense. All your formulas are listed right here, and there are thousands of them. Um, this is most recently used, but they're, you know, you could be a financial person, you could be math and tricks, statistical, database. I mean, there's so much. I, I, I don't know what this is. I'm sure that Dow's issues, attempt settlement rate. Oh, that's so cool. There are so many things that you could do. Uh, you know, they could use this for all kinds of stuff. So everybody, a lot of people use Excel and it's, it's very important. All right, so that's where all your formulas are at. But some of the basic ones mean... Mean essentially means average. Why is there two names for it? I don't know. However, every formula starts with an equal sign. And then I do know that average exists. All right, so I start typing AV and it suggests something. It's got the little F of X formula. Average, 
And so I'm going to do average. And then I want to find the average of all these sizes. So I just, when I get the um, left parenthesis, I highlight all my numbers. And then I just press enter. That is the average, 0.7566. Depending on what blocks you got, um, it could be 0.749, it could be 0.75, but this is the average of my set of blocks, okay? Um, the mode is the most common number, okay? And for this one, there is also a formula for mode. Just start typing M-O-D, mode, here we go. Is this gonna work? Okay mode had a little uh, exclamation mark there and mode press the number and so evidently the most common number that came up is 0.749 just something to know 0.749 came up here and did it come up again oh it came up there so it came up two times all right uh median is the middle number what is the middle number if i put these in order this is not in order from smallest to largest so the no the middle number would be the 13th number if it was in order, but let's go ahead and find that. We don't have to put in order because Excel will do that for us. So equals MED median, boom, whoops, I didn't finish it. Equals MED median, and I'm going to highlight all the numbers, okay? Press enter. And that is the number in the middle. It is not necessarily the uh, average. It, it is often close, but just because it's the number, the middle number doesn't mean it's average. For example, this number doesn't exist, okay? You can't find this number in here. This number, you can find it. 0 0.7530, where is it? Whatevs, it's in there. Okay, here it is, 0 0.7530. That's actually the middle number if you put it in order. Standard deviation. I'm going to talk about standard deviation a little bit. Um, uh, standard deviation is, is a measure of uh, spread, how far the data is spread out. And uh, this will also calculate standard deviation for you. Okay, and basically if you start typing S, T, D, and so there's two uh, standard deviations, the population and sample size. You will learn more about these in your statistics class, which I highly recommend as the most important math class you could take. Standard deviation sample size, we're gonna do that, and again, highlight all the values. Press enter. And that is our standard deviation right there. Terrific. Uh, minimum, uh, it'll find our minimum number. We could put these in order. We could sort these and find our minimum number. But let's just go ahead and do minimum. Um, and here you can put equals min. Enter. All right, that's the, that's the lowest number on here. It is on there somewhere. And again, max. Yep, you can guess. M-A-X. Okay, and it'll find the largest number here. And the largest number is 0 0.7780. Range. Range is basically the range from the maximum to the minimum. So we can use these two cells to do that. And we're going to type in an equal sign. And uh, when you type an equal sign, you can just highlight a cell. And it did E8. That is column E, row 8. And I'm going to put minus E8 minus E7. Enter. That is a range from the largest to the smallest cube. All right. Mean plus two times the standard deviation. All right. So I'm going to do an equal sign here. And I'll do mean plus two. The uh, multiplication is a little asterisk above the eight. And the standard deviation is this cell right here. Okay. So make sure you got that. Mean plus two, that's times the standard deviation, enter. And we got mean, this one equal, equals mean minus two times the standard deviation. It's that one right there. All right, so uh, this is uh, mean plus and mean minus the two standard deviation. Again, let me show you um, what that is. About 95% of the data lies between these two uh, in a normal distribution. So um, I pulled it up here. So this is mu is the mean, and this sigma 
is the standard deviation. So if you go one standard deviation over, 34% uh, percent of the data lies in there and 34% goes in a negative side. So this is our average and our average was, um, this one here, our average was 0.7566, okay? And um, uh, then if you go two standard deviations over, uh, 95.4 of the data lies in there. And then three standard deviations over, 99.7. So we're not going to do three. But the blocks in this area, we want to get rid of them. Okay, any blocks that lie in that area, we want to get rid of them. Okay? All right. Um, all right, so we're going to use this uh, standard deviation to find out which of these blocks we don't want. So uh, let's go back to our Excel spreadsheet. And... Um, what we're going to do is uh, anything larger than that or smaller than that, we're going to we're going to take out or or change the size a little bit. One way to do that is I'm going to highlight all the. Um, I mean, I could sort these and put these in order, but I'm going to show you another little trick because Excel is pretty cool. It does a lot of stuff. I'm going to highlight those. Go to conditional formatting, and then I'm going to go highlight cells rules, and there's less than between equal to. Uh, I'm going to do more rules. And I'm going to highlight a cell that is not between two numbers, that is not between these two numbers. And so anything bigger than that or smaller than that is going to be highlighted. So not between, let's say, the smallest one, which is going to be this number. Okay, then click that. And the smallest number and the biggest number. You could you know, type in the numbers, but why do that? Just type in a cell. Okay, so anything between those two numbers and it's going to format it and let's just do like um, highlight it. And so I'm going to go here and then do fill or, you know, do whatever you want. Let's just do yellow. Okay, and click OK. And uh, all right, OK right here. And then <clears throat> what you have is cube number 10 and cube number 12 is, um, is out of size. All right, and... What we can do is we can maybe sand these down. All right, we can sand these down and uh, with a little sandpaper and you know get them to size, or we can swap them out. All right. Um, okay. At this point, uh, I want you to uh, put a little uh, border around this. We're gonna add a couple lines on top. Okay. Insert. I did. I did right click right there. Add a couple lines. And uh, put your name up here. And we're going to put a period, whatever period you're in. All right. And let's leave another space. I'm going to go here and right click and add a little space right there. And uh, you will print this out. Okay. File, print. Uh, make sure you're going to 700, please. 700. And it should look like this. That looks pretty good. Okay. You're going to put it behind your handout and press print, um, good to go, okay? Make sure you change those blocks out or sand them down to make them to size. All right, thanks for listening.